Ugh, what the heck? Um, hello? Yes, this is Steve. Uh, whoa, 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 slow down there, buddy. Yeah, 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 I can understand, but... But I really... Okay. <sighs> Fine. Good morning, Guido, and welcome to the prayer dimension. Well, it turns out that a lot of people out there have a lot of problems and they need someone to vent to. Now, unfortunately, the particular individual that is usually prayed to is not here right now. He's actually on vacation. I don't know, dude, but apparently I'm the next best thing. Or rather, we are. I'm gonna need your help, okay, to answer all of these prayers and sort out people's lives. So we have our prayers here. Hello, Steve. I just received a parking ticket. I was only parked for 24 minutes. Hello, Jonathan Green, 47, table attendant. 24 minutes, eh? That's a pretty long time. Now, um, should I make a good or a bad decision? I'm gonna make it bad. Um, what's up, Steve? My cat is stuck up a tree. Please help, okay? I'll help you out like that. Yo, Steve, oh no, my house is on fire. Please put it out. Um, sure, why not? All right, Steve. I just wanted to say thank you. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, what's going wrong with your face? Are you sure you don't want to, like, pray for a better face or something? Um, that's okay. I accept your thank you. Hello, Steve. I really need to pass my driving test. All my friends have. Please let me pass. Um, do you look like you really deserve it? I'm not entirely sure. Goodbye. Steve, please can you make humans live longer? Yeah, sure, why not? Our Steve, I swear I just saw an alien on my stairs. Please make people believe me. Um, eight-year-old Myla Turner, who literally looks like a deer who's about to be hit by a car. I'll go ahead and I'll say yes, people will believe you. Okay, so incoming prayers, 10. Answered prayers, 8. Granted prayers, 5. Denied prayers, 3. Followers gained, 7. Total followers, seven. Let's have a look at the outcomes here. So, Jonathan had to pay the 71 pound fine. Exactly, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, the fire brigade showed up and helped the cat down safely. Excellent. House on fire? Violet's house was magically put out by a spontaneous rain cloud. Thank me later, okay? Joseph Piper, whose face has been magically restored? You're welcome. Bobby Hall, who really wanted to pass his driving test? Bobby crashed and caused a two pile up. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not my fault, Guido. I didn't know that was going to happen. Look, you know what? You can have the next one. I swear I just saw an alien on my stairs. Myla Turner. Myla's parents believed them and called Mulder and Scott. I, I don't understand that reference. All right, let's do this again. Our Steve. I'm sick of my mum asking me to do the laundry. Um, are you sure you're 13? I mean, look at your hair color. You look at least 80. Okay, let's go ahead and deny that prayer. I hope you can hear me, Steve. My dad's really not feeling well after taking my brother to school. Please, can you cure him? Oh, oh, sorry, Guido. I'll let you do this one then. Let's hope he makes the right decision. And, uh, Guido? Oh my gosh! What is wrong with you? Dear Steve, my company is going bankrupt. Please help me. The board is going to ca Guido, no! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me take the next one. Beautiful Steve, please don't let my car type... You know what? I won't let that happen, Alexander Jones, who literally looks like the most babyish 30-year-old I've ever seen. There you go. Sub Steve, please stop global warming. Okay, this is important to me, so I'm going to go ahead and press... Sure. If you're listening, Steve, I've been fined £66 for dropping my leg warmers on the floor. Make my appeal succeed. Uh, Guido, no! <laughs> Sub Steve, please make the next capture code easy. Amelia Price, 45, dog trainer. Sure, I hate captures as well. Hi Steve, help me. I have been impregnated by my dad? What? Excuse me? What is this button? Is this like a smite me button? Oh, I think it was like, oh gosh, I think I straight up killed that person. I have no idea what happened there. Um, hello Steve, please make me feel less late. Sure, why not? Our Steve, please make it so my best mate gets the job they just interviewed for. Guido, I'ma let you decide this one. Oh, yeah, I probably, I probably should have expected that. Good day, Steve. Joris Bonson has announced we may go to war. Please let us live in peace. Guido! Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and see these outcomes. I'm going to be very interested in this now. Okay, so Stanley, the guy with the name that suits an 80-year-old and the face of an 80-year-old as well, who says he's definitely 100% 13, keeping an eye on you, Stanley, got on with doing the laundry. Good boy. Okay, uh, Joseph's dad remains. That was you, Guido, I think. Well, you know, maybe you should be less vicious. Maybe you should start being nice to strangers. Okay. Um, Freddy's company. Yeah, I think that was you as well. The taxi driver went bankrupt. Um, hey, that's one of mine. The car tires survived the journey. Look at that. Thank me later, small child. Global warming was never an issue to begin with. The conspiracy theorists were right. Okay, fine. Um, Zoe's appeal was denied, and they had to pay back twice as much for wasting time. Oh my gosh. She looks thrilled with the outcome. Thanks to you, Guido. Isla's friend let out a little poo as they had eaten a fire noodles the night before. Oh. Um, she looks slightly peeved at that situation, Guido. Yeah, apparently you can control people's bowel movements as well. Wow. Uh, the United Kingdom went to war. The death toll was 15,748. Oh my god. Gosh. And we're back. Blessed Steve, please stop the witness from telling the police where I hid the body. Oh my gosh. We have a 15-year-old serial killer, Felix Jones. I am going to go ahead and deny your prayer for justice. Hello, Steve. There's a fat kid at school. Please, can I bully them without getting into trouble? Um, okay, Guido. Uh... No, no, Guido, no. G give me that. Oh my gosh. I am not going to, I'm not going to allow a bully to continue, okay? The Heavenly Steve, please give me the motivation to go to the gym today. Uh, Guido, you can have this one since, uh, since, you know, I kind of stole it off you there. So, yeah, I knew you were going to do that. What's up, Steve? I wish I was born pretty. Elsie, Elsie, everyone is born beautiful in their own right. It's about what's inside that counts. That being said, that obviously doesn't apply to you, so I'll just go ahead and deny that. Three of my cousins tried to trespass Area 51 to document the aliens. Please let them go home. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and- No, we don't- No, go... Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, what's new, Steve? Okay, already, this is going to a terrible start. We are having a gender scan for our unborn child today. I hope it's a girl. Amber Williams, who is currently homeless. Now, do I want- to raise a child in this world under a homeless person. I say yes, why not? I'm calling out to you, Steve. I have a cricket match tonight. Please make the opposition team's bowlers ill. Florence Berkeley, 19, front end developer. That is an awfully nasty thing to say. And in fact, you deserve to die. Um, <laughs> I think I just killed someone. I, I don't know what that does. Blessed Steve, I need to collect a parcel from my neighbor. I hope their dog is locked up. I'm afraid, Frank and Newman, it's not. Hello, Steve. I'm being bullied at school. Please make the bullies disappear. Oh my gosh, do we think this is related to that earlier prayer? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help out. I'm gonna help out Ethan here. Let's go ahead and see these outcomes. The witness told the police, but the body had moved. The witness was arrested for wasting police time. Oh, we've got some bully justice. Hannah bullied the fat kid who fought back and knocked Hannah's tooth out. Yeah, that's what you get. He also seems to have ripped one of your eyebrows off as well. Dan tried to do weights at home, but popped their forearm. Guido, I can't remember if this was you or I that did this, but that is definitely the face of someone that popped their forearm. What does that even mean? Elsie ended up getting cosmetic surgery as their prayer was not answered. Well, why did they pray anyway if they were going to get cosmetic surgery at 15? You just can't help that type of person. Um, three of my cousins tried to trespass Area 51 to document the aliens. Logan's cousins never returned home. Well, he seems pretty happy with the whole situation. Amber's having a girl! Excellent! Unfortunately, it's still going to be homeless, but you know what? It's fine. As long as she has her mother's love... Okay, maybe, maybe that was the bad decision. Okay, moving on. Frankie was mauled by their neighbor's dog. They ended up injuring their nose. In the sense that it's completely fallen off, or... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry about that, Frankie. All right, Guido, I am letting you control all of these. That's right, buddy. Every single one of these prayers is yours now. I'm calling out to you, Steve. Please can my favorite American... F oh, okay, Guido. Fine. 
What's up, Steve? An alien tried to communicate with me, but I don't know what it said. Can you translate? Uh, oh, you actually want to help out there. Okay, interesting. My dad has not returned home from the shops. He only went for some milk and has been gone for five hours. Please, can you bring him home? Guido, come on. Okay, this is Gracie Buckley, 28. Her house is falling apart, okay? So we definitely need to... What is wrong with you today? I have a soccer match this weekend. Please make the opposition. We've had this before as well, I think. Um, oh, <laughs> I just... Guido, are you just answering all of these negatively? Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Can you make the person who just splashed me in their car have an accident? Oh, you want someone to have an accident, do you? Okay, let's go ahead and see these outcomes. Zoe's favorite American football team lost 10-5 and went bottom of the league. Maya's father never returned home. Oh, jeez, Guido. You're tearing families apart here. This is terrible. The house started to fall apart and had to be knocked down for safety reasons. And Gracie is now homeless. Luca was given counseling for seeing the alien on the stairs. After two weeks, the injury worsened, so Albie had to go to the hospital. They fell off their chair. Yep. Uh, the driver crashed into a civilian. They died. Oh, my gosh. I think overall, I proved that I am actually quite a nice god. And you, Guido, well, you're just terrible.